overall for 5 minute tutorials and today we will be focusing mainly on iMovie. In the past I've been getting a lot of people asking if I could do tutorials on how to use iMovie on the Mac platform. So today I will be doing a simple tutorial just to get started with iMovie iMovie is the little star-shaped icon that you'll find in the dock and it's a video editing package that allows you to edit video and add some effects similar to programs like uh, Windows Movie Maker when you first open up iMovie it should look something like this your event library will be over there on the left and most of your clips that you have in each one of those folders are actually going to be on the right. Up top will be all your projects. Here are the basic buttons. This button over here is the open camera import window which allows you to either record live from the iSight camera or import from a digital or tape based camera. The button right next to it is to switch the top part with the bottom part so that it would look something like this and your events are up here and your projects and your project library are down here I personally prefer to have it this way right next to it are the clip size so you can make your clips bigger or smaller by dragging the slider on that next to that is the arrow you can disable the arrow by pressing escape or return uh, and the arrow is so that you can select clips or scrub over clips in iMovie no rendering is necessary so you can play your clips straight off right next to it is the button that allows you to take uh, videos and put them into a project or edit them right next to it is the favorite tool and you can highlight video clips that you like like this you click on it you say hey I like this and it adds a green marker over it right next to it is the neutralize and it just basically removes all the um, things that you want that you had on it and the reject tool the reject tool uh, rejects clips or puts a red line over it so that you know that that's not the clip that you like and it actually deletes them uh, not from the hard drive but from your uh, your event you can always restore those later undo reject range and it's back right next to it is the keyword tool and you can actually add keywords to selected clips like outdoor close up pets S select the amount of video and add and you have your keyword in there right next to it is the voiceover tool which allows you to do a voiceover when you have a project these are the crop rotate and can birds choose and this is the inspector over to this side you have your music and sound effects you have your photos, you have your text, you have your transitions, and your maps, backgrounds, and animatics. You may not get animatics if you're having an older version of iMovie, but if you have the new version, which is I, iMovie 11, which comes standard with iLife 11, you will get these. So that's a basic look at iMovie. To create a new project you click the little plus button, you name it, you can select a theme, I'll get into that in a later tutorial, for now we'll take no, uh, no theme, you press create and your new project is created. There are two ways you can uh, there are two ways that you can take video from your events and put it into your product. The first way is by selecting where you want the video to start 
an end. There are no in and out points manually, so you no I and O like you might find in Final Cut. You drag it in. Or another way is to select the amount of clip you want to use and click on that button over there and it's automatically added. From here you can crop your video, add a voiceover to your video, like, neutralize, or reject that video. You can also add text effects, pictures, sound, or animatics. This is a basic overview of iMovie and this is basically how it looks. So if you're a beginner and you're just starting out and you want to know what the buttons are, this tutorial is for you. For those who are already experienced in iMovie, this set of tutorials might not be as useful to you. Thank you for watching this 5 minute tutorial. We hope to see you again soon.